the alleged victims of Archbishop Anthony Aperon are happy that Archbishop Savio Taifai Han retracted the statements made by Archbishop Aperon after the alleged victims came forward. Here's more. I think that was a step in the right direction uh, on behalf of the Archbishop. I think that's that's one step that I've seen so far that uh, is a positive. Um, still, though, overall, I think uh, his statement was kind of just general. You know, there's really there really wasn't a lot of substance in there. I mean, uh, he's willing to talk to us, and uh, that's all and good. But it took, I feel, it took a lawsuit for the archdiocese to step up and start doing something. Roy Quintanilla, Walter Denton, and Roland Sandia all say that Archbishop Savio Taifai Han's retraction of statements made by Archbishop Anthony Aperon after the three alleged that he sexually assaulted them was a step in the right direction. However, they still feel more could have been done sooner. I feel that um, he's kind of, kind of, you know, trying to backpedal to um, what has taken place, whereas he had the opportunity to act, actually step up to the plate when he first heard about the allegations or where the allegations were made. Roland Sandia is also concerned about how long it took Archbishop Han to retract these statements. He was here seven weeks ago, you know, and, every, and, and he hasn't been transparent since. You know, he, um, the, the church is divided, as far as I know, and in the eyes of the, the, the Catholic faithful here. And uh, we want unity. We want to stop the division. We want the Catholic Church to be one again, be, to be whole. Cindy also says they were hoping to get an update on the status of Archbishop Aperon on whether or not he will return as the Archbishop of the Guam Catholic Church.